Hi everyone, I'm Chantal from One Day Webs. Um, so a little introductory video, I've decided that one of the things I'd like to do with One Day Webs is to keep a YouTube channel going with some great little snippets, both in terms of small business, which is one of my passions, and also web design and web creation, which is my, my business, my bread and butter. So uh, this is just an introductory post to tell you a little bit about me, um, my background, who I am, and um, whether or not you should listen to anything I have to say. <laughs> so, my name is Chantal. I am uh, 41 years old next month, which is pretty freaking awesome, I think. I love my 40s. Um, and I am a serial entrepreneur. Um, I like to tell people that I was born an entrepreneur. I'm one of those people that haven't um, worked many of the years in my life for a, for a boss. Uh, I seem to have been able to um, create businesses and support myself with businesses um, and you know make really good partnerships and create incredible businesses out of great partnerships and network a lot um, and I really love that I love that about me and I love that about my life so um, one of the things that I've been doing for a very long time is actually web design and web development and for some people who may have met me and know a little bit about my history, um, people may know me more from one of my previous brands, which I built was a retail brand. And um, people don't actually understand that I originally came from IT or came from web. Um, my introduction to web was in about um, 95, 96. And I created my first website using um, Notepad and typing out HTML tags, um, as I'm sure a lot of other um, successful web entrepreneurs out there did. Um, I then gravitated from that into learning uh, Visual Basic and SQL programming, um, and naturally went into project management because I just, I can organize things and get things done, because I'm a girl boss. And um, I worked on some really interesting projects. I traveled the world. Uh, I worked on a really random project on a system in Pensacola Beach um, doing their toll road <laughs> on the Six Mile Bridge, if anyone knows where that is. Um, anyway, so I've done some really interesting things. I uh, quit the corporate world in RT at uh, quite a young age and um, started flipping properties. Um, because the opportunity was there in South Africa, where I'm from at the time, and with a friend and partner, I rode the property wave and worked for myself in property. Um, so you'll get the idea. I, I, I don't think I'll work really well for bosses, actually. <laughs> um, from there, I ended up starting this incredible retail business with a friend of mine, um, and we grew it into the most incredible business I learned so much. Um, we had the most incredible partnership. It was probably, uh, the, you know, one of the best periods of my my life. Um, and when seven years hit, we had the seven year itch, and we sold our, our business and our brand, and that does continue to go um, to this day. And at that point, I really wasn't one hundred percent sure about what I wanted to do and what the next thing was that I was going to do. And I knew what I didn't want to do. I knew I didn't want to necessarily build a big business anymore. Or what I should clarify is I didn't want to be responsible for a lot of people and a lot of staff and a lot of stress. Um, and I didn't want to be beholden to going to an office, getting dressed up, um, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I wanted freedom. I wanted freedom of my time and freedom of my location. And it naturally just led me back to webs, you know, I've always been a creative person, I love design. In my, my retail business, I'd, I'd done our website for that business twice over. That was my very first experience with a WordPress development, which honestly I hated the first WordPress website I did, it was insane. Um, and today I, I make my money <laughs> creating WordPress websites, so it's quite ironic. Um, well, long story short, I decided to choose to go back to my, my IT and my programming roots and to choose web design and web development as my next thing. And I started a little business uh, locally in South Africa and Durban and I've done really well and I've built beautiful websites that I'm incredibly proud of for amazing brands. But 
like any small business, there are things about the business that just don't work for me. And I'm sure every business owner faces similar things. There's, there's always aspects about your business that isn't perfect. Nobody has a perfect business, right? So what is it that I love about web design? Oh my God, I love the creativity. I love, I love getting to know your brand and I love um, you know, tra uh, translating that to the audience via the website and really getting across like your personality. It's kind of what I'm known for. Like I can meet with you and literally in 20 minutes of meeting with you, I get like your essence or your business essence and I can portray that online. Um, I bring my creativity, I bring my techiness, it all kind of, it's this magic combination and I love doing it. I love working on projects fast with committed people who are willing to put in the time and, um, you know, while we're all enthusiastic and I love finishing those projects and taking them live and having happy clients and hugging it out and all of that gorgeous stuff, right? That's what I love. I love creating websites. So what do I hate, right? I hate the process of creating websites. It's terrible. My goodness, do you know how much time we spend trying to drag information out of our clients? You know, something that should be an eight to a 10 hour um, website development that should cost X amount of dollars ends up dragging out into something that goes on for months and months and months and you're getting drip fed content from this client you go off the bubble the client goes off the bubble by the end of the project you'll be pretty sick of each other you're not you're not doing your best creatively because you've gone off the bubble on the project i hate it i hate that part of the process and there's a really really simple solution which uh, hit me like uh, you know let's call it my aha moment as oprah likes to call them and as my, my previous business partner and my previous business called the aha moment that she had before we started that business, um, the aha moment was when I stumbled across this concept of building a website in one day. It sounds pretty simple. It sounds pretty obvious. Like, I don't know why more people aren't doing it, actually. But it's perfect for me and it's perfect for my clients and it's perfect for the way I like to work. Um, so... That's basically what my new business is all about. I um, should tell from One Day Webs. Um, I build websites in one day. Um, and we help you to get ready for that process. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that I'll be able to post a lot more little snippets of value as things go on. But this is just a little introductory video to say, hey, how's it from sunny Durban, South Africa? And um, follow me.